They exploded there, damn. Hello everyone, my name is Ramat and today we're going to do a Ziggs guide on mid lane. Yep, that's right, it's not Talia right now, but it's going to be in like one or two days I'm going to post another Talia video in my Unranked to Master series and we're going to talk about that too. Now for this video, Ziggs can be played on mid lane or on bot. Mostly right now it's played on bot lane and sometimes on mid lane as well and you play it generally with teleport on bot lane and it's useful because you can take fast towers with W and you can perma push mid to late game and you can, you are an artillery mage so you're relatively safe against most matchups. Now for uh, summer spells I play with teleport but against Zoe you can play with cleanse, you can play with barrier or whatever makes you feel comfortable on bot it's better to play with teleport. Now for items I prefer to start with Doran's ring, go for a standard boots lost chapter into Ludens, Sork shoes, and then and then move towards uh, Orb. And if they have lots of heals, uh, such as Double Conqueror, maybe and Lux uh, and Ezreal heal, sorry, uh, maybe I would uh, go for uh, Morello. But if not, you can. Uh, go for Rabadons or complete Zonias or get the magic resist item and stuff like that. Basically the core is always the same. Ludens or even GLP sometimes if you want to always hit your ult. Now that this is the general consensus towards those item, items. Sorry. Okay so uh, we talked items and the full build might be Ludens, Sork Shoes, Rabadons, Zonia, Void Stuff and are we at six now? The last item could be obviously Morelos because we skipped it and we can do that just and as you six those are the items that you should generally pick now I farm pretty awkwardly because I'm focused on telling you the right information and I do not want to do a spectator mode video but for runes uh, I will show you in a second is that one yet I was sure. Not missing the cannon though. I recommend you to hit the Q on the cannon whenever you can if you feel like you're gonna miss it, as it's just better overall. Okay. And that was awkward as well. Anyway, for summoner spell, uh, for uh, a bit bleh, for runes, sorry, I'm playing with uh, Arcane Comet as you can see, Mana Flow Band right here, Transcendence, and some people play with Transcendence here. Uh, sorry, some people play with Gathering Storm here. I play with Scorch because I like the early game more, but this is generally useful with uh, Gathering Storm in this context. As you can see, the meta has changed a bit, so the junglers are more the Kaiser versus Garen, which is a bit weird if you count that. And this guy cannot hit those E's. But for runes, you should generally play with uh, those that I've shown you on main page and for secondary I play with biscuits and with cosmic insights so that we spam more Qs now she definitely she definitely has a Garen looking around I need to word but I was to focus okay never mind I threw that like a freaking champion so we're gonna miss that I'm gonna miss this yep I'm missing lots of CS again now again Oh my god. I'm playing with teleport because I'm pretty sure I won't die in lane. And this guy is already annoying, but he cannot hit any spells. So that's that. And... Woohoo! <laughs> You've seen that. You've seen how lovely was that. Okay. So we talked about runes, we talked about summoner spells, we talked about items. Now we're gonna talk about abilities. Now Zix has sort of two passives, not just one. Your main passive is the short fuse which amplifies your damage and deals bonus damage to structures. This is an auto attack passive damage increase and I am in need of some gold here. I'm gonna sell the potions, I don't care, I want this. Get your first item lost chapter whenever you can, if you can on the first recall, because it's amazing. And as the minions are pushed here, it's pointless for me to actually teleport or nah, not bother. I'm losing the wave if if I don't teleport here. And as you can see, we're not having any problem farming that 
I missed only two seals, yeah, I suck. But we got level 6, we got the kill on Zoe, that's fine. That was probably a bad teleport, but wave management is another important topic that we should discuss. But we talked passive, so the first passive is that, the second passive is basically on towers under 25% HP. As you can see here in a second, I'm gonna show you. Uh, you can actually destroy towers that are under, well, 25%, as you can see. And that's actually, actually extremely strong because you can get some easy plates, you can get some amazing advantage out of that. And I'm trying to get the wave pushed here. I'm missed, missing so much. Yes, you see, Jesus. So much Jesus. Okay. But yeah. Um, and we talked about uh, abilities. Now, the second passive, as we said, is on W. And we want here to help them if we can. That. Actually, I'm gonna kill that Lux. But apparently, she did just fine. Now, I'm seeing Zoe on top lane, but apparently, she just jumped into there, into our Mordekaiser. Now, W, uh, what W does is throws you around, much like Tulia W, but it can throw you too. So, what you want to do is escape with this spell as much as you can or kill towers. Your E lands some mines on the ground, which deal damage, and it can be combined with your uh, actual W to throw people, much as it like Tulia threw that spell. So, you can deal lots of extra damage with it. And as a Ziggs, you obviously should practice farming, and you should farm better than me. And obviously, you should practice on dealing poke, because this is what you want most. Now, I don't know where the Scion is. Oh, it's our Scion. Okay. But yeah. I'm dealing the damage. Okay, we got it. Why am I getting pinged? It's your fault. Okay. But yeah, we can actually kill her too now. Because we have red. Okay, I might die here. Woo! That was not even close, baby. Oh, look at that sweet farm. can do this combo to dunk people but as you can see she already went back and I can get here a plate no, I cannot because Garen might run me down but you need to push this lane as much as you can now your ultimate deals a shit ton of damage basically in a, in a big area and I really want that plate so I don't care about Garen okay bye now I care about Garen but he's on top I could get one more plate here now since I see Garen. I just wanna be on time on top lane. We'll probably die there, but we're good, we're good. Now as you can see I'm actually forcing that uh, GLP as fast as I can. And so we talked about spells, summoner spells, well abilities, items, runes, and I want to talk a little about combos, which one of them is EW and the other one is W and then into Q or E or anything. So basically you do that dunk, that amazing jump that you can do. Now another thing that you need to talk about in this kind of videos is vision control and not much, not many people talk about that because it's I believe it's one of the most important thing that someone can do. I think that she's missing so they should be careful. Now I can get here plates easily because again I'm Ziggs, I have a red buff. And as you can see, they are fine, mostly fine. I could roam, but rather I'd just get the tower here as fast as I can because as you can see, Caitlyn is doing fine, but no longer. I could, sh I should have actually go there probably and would have netted more gold, but I really like plates. And as of six, you're usually just for farming, but your ultimate should be a roaming tool as well. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna back off, but they were low, so I'm gonna work here and I'm gonna stick to that side. But they were low HP, so we can just get more auto attacks. And I don't know exactly when I can use W, but it's probably pretty soon. Wait, 
Okay, right now. This passive appears. So I'm saying this that I didn't roll because I could take first tower. And first tower is a very, very important thing that you could get. And not only I have 13 CS advantage and massive, massive gold lead. Uh, Zoe shouldn't even get kills on bot, but because they mispositioned so badly, they didn't back off. She actually got the kills. Normally, that would have been a good trade for me. And I'm gonna sell here the potion. Gonna get sword shoes. I'm gonna teleport. Probably on bot lane. In two seconds. Gonna teleport here. So that went extremely well for us. And now we can actually take this tower as well with our W. As you can see, you should aim for these towers and you should just do this whenever you can. This is how Ziggs should be played mostly. And whenever you can, he's an artillery, so he has this tower killing potential. As you can see, I'm massively ahead now just because of that. And I don't want to take this, but I have to. We're going back to mid lane now, our Caitlyn is pretty good, mid lane is doing well, so I can just take this as well, I'm seeing that, but first I want, I really want this before Garen comes, oh my god, okay, so we got a scuttle as well, and we can, we can take this here, vision control is very important, now usually check the bush, of course, Usually check the bush before uh, you put the vision ward because I just told them, look, I put a vision ward there, go kill it. Basically, that's a main mistake because most people just will, will just do this and other people will buy vision wards and won't do anything with them. So that's another mistake that you generally see. And we can actually hear. And if I hit that, I could uh, could have ulted. But I believe it would have been just a waste. And now we just we just need to be positioned properly so that we don't die to a random Garen gang. And we found the Garen right now. But if you hit if you hit Qs, we can ult instantly. Now vision control again is important as we speak, as we spoke about it. So if your team and if in your lower elos, if your team doesn't get red trinket you should get it because at least two red trinkets should be bought every single game now i'm going to help them here because if i throw this ult maybe i will create a scenario in which my team doesn't randomly int and as you can see you can roam perfectly with this so one thing that you could do when the enemy is always roaming bot you could just go tortil here and throw that and always try to abuse Ziggs W because that's one of the most important thing that you could arguably do. I don't like it. As you can see, they already took that vision world, so when buying this, you should be smart about it. And you can proc easily the comet with tactics like that, she's dead. Yep, that's all on you, buddy. All on you. And once you get Ludens, this champion actually becomes way less boring than before and it's much easier to hit CS. Even though I screw up most of my CS, as you can see, I'm still having a massive 40 CS difference and also more kill participation than that. So, that's how it goes. And as you can see, this farming is insanely fun compared to... Oh, that was close. That was very close. Just use your cues on the cannons because they are extremely, extremely important. Okay, that was something, I guess. After that, one of the most important objectives that you should focus on in this discussion, well, we should talk a little about Marco, right? So besides tower, besides getting that sweet first tower, tons of gold and lots of plates, another important objective that early on well, obviously, it's the most important one besides towers, or maybe first tower, because that's discussion as well. It's Drake's. So, uh, that dra Dragon Soul, it's one of the most important things in the game right now. And I can actually ult here in hopes of I don't freaking know. But he 
Zoe comes here, she does not. So, first tower it's important, very important obviously, but also... Got it! And also, uh, drakes are important, so you gotta find balance of when to roam and when to actually do something else. Now, generally I would prefer drakes uh, if I cannot have any plates in range or, or roams especially or if I'm uh, I don't know how, I don't know how to explain you gotta understand and you gotta calculate exactly what's the most beneficial thing for you and your team in that moment and if it's only for you then you might recalculate you might need to recalculate that now we're gonna lose here we're gonna lose here our trick but I can alt so yeah they can win through that but I will definitely alt here eventually and should be careful Okay, so Drake is resetting. Okay, never mind. Oh, the Kaiser is very strong apparently. And do I need to go there? I don't think so. I can just throw this here and move. I knew she was going to throw that, so that's why I backed off. But yeah. As a micro gameplay, you should focus also on drakes, but towers can be easily killed, so that's why Ziggs is mainly played on bot lane and also obviously on mid lane, but uh, the main factor is that his siege potential and wave clear is on R insane. So for macro gameplay, that's something you should consider. For micro, you just gotta understand the combos, and uh, I want to recommend also some practice tutorials, as you can see. I'm actually having lots of CS in this game, but I missed also lots of CS, so get in the practice tool, understand how hard his W work, how his passive works, and then practice some farming, because knowing how to farm is one of the most important mechanics in League of Legends. Also I've seen, lots of time I've seen it, you gotta also use your ult in scenarios in which you only push a wave. So if there are three champions, three enemy champions with a large, large wave, they just killed your bot lane and now they want to take the tower, you can just ult there and congrats. You not only got a lot of CS, you only yeah, you also saved the tower and you can also keep pushing on the mid lane because if two players die on the bot, maybe your jungle didn't die there, maybe you can gank the enemy mid laner now, even though you don't have ult. You gotta be also careful when you don't have ult because you're, well, uh, your damage is heavily reduced because look it deals 800 damage if you hit it in the center and less 600 almost if you hit it far further in that circle. Also I did not discuss this but farsight alteration can be a great tool to actually snipe people with your ult. Now I believe here I would deal a lot of damage to her if I hit it. <laughs> Yeah, so that's also a thing there. So I'm this far ahead and well, as you can see, I'm actually dealing lots and lots of damage. And my almost 10 CS per minute now, it's disruptive one could say. And so we want to finish now the game by pushing towards uh, their, well, inhibitor. But I'm also almost at 10 CS per min, as you can see. And you can throw this W from right now and instantly drop it. And so you can see how this Zix actually works on mid lane. But obviously against some other assassins your ways of playing will not be as simple. I don't know, I'm trying randomly that ult. That was a very random ult. Back off. Attack bot lane. I, I will actually. No, I won't teleport there. And I need to be careful to flash if they have well sworded. They don't, so we're good. But yeah, focusing on, uh, you need, you need to understand what it's important and what not. Here in this game, like for example, I use scorch, and I made use of it because I'm fairly fed and head. But in other games. Transcendence would have been no, 
gathering storm story would have been much much more useful because when the game goes into the mid to late game you'd like to have that extra ep to clear ways more easily to deal more damage and so on you're a massive massive aoe damage dealer and so you need to profit of that and usually when you play ziggs you start to understand uh, and enjoy the game only in the mid game and so from that point when you actually have your ludens completed and some other items but from this point of view it's actually extremely important uh, to play with gathering storm if you believe uh, you have no chance of winning early or if you believe you are certainly going to get into the mid to late game now most of the time gathering storm it's extremely strong but now i prefer to actually play more aggressively so I try to sniper. Uh, like As you can see, look at this. Look how fun this is, especially when you have blue buff. Yes, I stole it from my from my sweet sweet uh, jungler. But you can see how fun this is for <laughs> me. For them, not so much. Also, you can see Garen's farm. That's quite amazing. Worked here. Oh, should have worked there, but still, this is this something to believe. Actually, I'm not going there because I wait for someone. If they have a word, fine. If not, they're just gonna work walk to here. I can just back off. Generally, just try here with this and throw another one. Also, you gotta practice throwing those skills because, as you can see, I'm not really the best at it. But it's actually quite simple to do what I do here. Okay, all right. I don't know what Kitlin knows there. I can try. Massive dunk like this. Ah, I hit him. I hit him, but I did not have enough anything. And here you can see how fun Zoe is, <laughs> even though I'm massively fed in the head, she can still just flash on top of my head, even though I dodge her almost everything. So, yeah. But we don't. We don't really care much because now we get Baron on the other side of the map. And that was what certainly die. I don't think we get this Baron. Okay, they we they're actually not taking any damage, so that's why we go with that. Oops. And this is where the fun starts. <laughs> Let's just see how this is going to go. We have Smite. We apparently don't have Smite. You Smite, buddy. Well, we lost Baron, so that was certainly an experience. But we know now we now know that probably Olaf is going to push top, so we can move towards that. Also, against this Olaf, we certainly need more Nomicon, so that's the next target. And also, what we need to consider is the fact that that Olaf can run me down much more simple, simple than Zoe. This. And also you can use your Q as a tool to see if enemies are around. Because you can't really know sometimes if they are somewhere. And as you can see how I'm throwing this, I'm trying to push him towards this E, but not I cannot solve it all the time, so yeah, that Olaf is actually pretty strong. But we're gonna win by we're gonna win by uh, the Dragon Souls, so that's why it's also important to keep it up to focus on those dragons. Because if you miss Baron and the enemy team has a way of coming back into the game, at least you have a, some form of, uh, how can I say, back net of success. Back off, please. I'm just gonna die there. Also, teleport shouldn't be used for farming as much. And this guy just... <laughs> Absolutely no chance to survive that. But I can cast this here because it's 
for the sake of eating Zoe. In case Mordekaiser didn't, you know, kill her. That would have been calculated there. But yeah, until the Baron buff goes off, we just farm. Because, you know. Also, as a mid laner, you should stop farming, especially when playing Ziggs. I bought this for no reason, because I need to buy items for this. Just gonna go for this one. But they are not really doing something smart there. Because our sign is basically useless against them. They're, they are basically hinting right now for no reason. But the good thing is that I clear waves. I can clear waves for ages, even though the game doesn't go the way we want. I just have to survive, okay? I just have to survive. That's that's mostly important. Okay. And also I can use cross map alts to clear waves so I can clear top from here if they don't push with Baron. So I just wanna do this. Yeah, they are pushing with Baron, but I'm still gonna, still gonna do this out here. I'm going, I'm going there because Garen is just gonna run the tower down if not. But Baron buff is over, so we can just do this. And as you can see, you can push him like that, but you cannot probably kill tanks unless you have Lion Dries or some sort of heavy damage. And so I'm backing off now. Another way to actually successfully deal with this. Uh, they don't have a jungler, come on. Wait, where is Mordekaiser? Why is he in the mid lane? What is he doing? Why is he not there? Garen was top, come on. Free Drake, Dragon Soul. Okay. I'm not gonna tank it because you're just, you're just stupid. Like, you're just gonna have a tank to do it for you. And we're getting actually rammed by that Olaf because Caitlyn got caught there. Okay, never mind. Just, just take this. Just take this. You're not gonna take this, right? Take this. Good. <laughs> we, we, we got the game. Now we're gonna win. <laughs> Thank you, Zoe, for hitting the Drake there. If she didn't hit the Drake there, they would have actually, they would have actually done better than us. But Caitlyn should be more careful. I probably would have tanked that. Zoe uh, Q, but then I would have just get run down randomly. Oh my god He's still dead Okay That heal is insane. I'm gonna ping that we need and Also this you should also do this every game when you are against heavy heavy players What? Is she doing? She just outplayed herself. She literally outplayed herself there. But yeah, now we have a Baron. So and also we have Zoe here that we can remember. But if Olaf randomly appears, then you're just gonna die. Well, okay. Back to the mid lane. And back to heavily farming because if we don't keep farming we're actually gonna lose they are fine with that but I think I can actually get this now while he's an Ezreal I'm certain I can do some shenanigans I can actually push here because they have no way of Olaf is top, I'm 1 versus 2 against those, I don't care. I'm just hitting summoner spells as much, uh, sorry, I'm just hitting spells as much as I can. Because I want to get, okay. Escape. 
I, I don't actually need to escape this, I just need to waste as much time as possible. It's okay, but they should they should get something <laughs> till, till that happened. Uh, yeah, we got the tower here, but they are going to certainly die. I mean, maybe Mordekaiser will kill someone, but we're not really winning much now, because... Because that Olaf has lots of heals and I did not build in time or Nomicon. And now it's really annoying, so we gotta win the technical the technical matchups. So we're gonna take this and this without them knowing or and they are not really able to do much. I think I'm gonna teleport here so that I can actually ult. And we're gonna need this for that. So I'm gonna ult here. So I'm gonna ult Drake in very immediately. Okay, too fast, way too fast. Okay, we're good now. And this Caitlyn, I'm not, I'm not really sure what she does. I'm just gonna motivate her to play better by pinging the hell out of her. If you cannot escape or dodge things, why don't you have a simple QSS? So I'm gonna get that, because you don't seem to be able to survive anything. And so we don't do Baron. We don't do Baron without our beloved Caitlyn. That would be a major, major stupidity. Because they can just run us down. And we're gonna keep farming because that's everything that we can do. I'm just gonna do a full clear here. So that I'm ahead in levels. Well, not really. But I wouldn't be okay in level if... Yeah, we just we just gotta make that Caitlyn start playing. Uh, we don't we don't fight here. Caitlyn is not here. We don't we don't fight here. Because if that Olaf decides to run it down, I mean by killing me. Can you be careful, please? Dude, what the fuck? I'm just gonna question mark ping whenever she goes out of line. Because she's very... She very much wants to die. Now I have Marilla too, even though Caitlyn does not have her. Just gonna ping her, because she's... Well, blind to the fact that... Oh my god. Okay. That's oddly in our favor. Throw everything there. Kill the locks. Throw tons of damage at Olaf till he dies, and that worked. And this is beautiful. Okay. Now we can actually take both of these and win the game. Actually, kill Israel if only if I need to make him use his E if I want to solve anything. So, oh, oh. okay, I did not calculate the fact that Garen will go one versus four there and actually get two kills. You tell me how that happened. Fun. 
<laughs> they exploded there, damn. That was so bad as they both exploded at the same time. So yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. I'm just gonna buy. Don't have mana anymore. And okay. No. I I'm so dead. Throw the ult maybe. Back off, because we still can lose. Back off. But we can stop them now. They just wanna just wanna keep the game going. How much do I have to ping them? We should have <sighs> We should have gone for actual uh, Baron there on this random stuff that we're doing. We still have no longer have all that, so do we still have no longer have that? And now we might lose Baron. But but I can actually backdoor if they go Baron, so it's fine. I think I'm gonna try a backdoor, so we're gonna switch to this. Because I can definitely backdoor this. But they need to go towards Baron, so I'm gonna think that we're gonna get Baron now. And yeah, this game got really fun, especially with that. That looks so badass. That looked so bad as with the Elder Trick. So, in this tutorial we have covered almost everything that you need to know to play Ziggs. Obviously, practice tool trees are one of the most important things that you should do. So put the dummies, practice CS, understand the combos, stuff like that. And the only thing left is probably for the extremely advanced players, but those tips well, this isn't a tutorial for a diamond or a master or a challenger player. This is a tutorial for the average League of Legends player, I can say. And diamonds are not average by far. And now we want to do this. You know what I want to do? I want to ping them to start Baron and I want to slowly start going towards the mid lane. Because if I get an Olaf on me, they get Baron, right? So that's fine. is here. It's fine. They are certainly winning there. Okay, Olaf went there. Olaf went there. Okay, watch this, watch this. We're actually going. We're actually doing it. We're actually doing it. We're actually ending the game because I deal lots of damage. And lots of auto attack damage. And so I'm actually ending the game solo. Because why not? Because why not? <laughs> so yeah, this is the General Ziggs tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. So see you next time, guys. And I will promise, I am promising you, I will make another Talia video this week as well. So see you next time, guys. I love you so much. Goodbye.